year 2021 just like year 2020 was a crazy year it was like a roller coaster ride for me both on a personal front and on a professional front but in the midst of everything that was happening in my life there was one thing which kind of helped me sail through this turbulent phase and that was reading books hello everyone welcome back to my channel trek with islam and in today's video i'm going to tell you my top 10 books of all the books that i read in the year 2021 so without any further ado let's get started So before we start off let me tell you the books that have been listed down are in no particular order or ranking these have been picked randomly and uh, almost all the books are equally good you can pick any book at any point of time let's start with our first book then So the first book on our list is The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle I hope I'm pronouncing the name of the author correctly but this is a really powerful book written for all those people who are looking for answers related to purpose of living in this materialistic world and are finding it difficult to attain spiritual enlightenment this book will help you uh, realize inner self and will also help you become present in the moment so this is written in a question answer format and this book is really easy to read and easy to understand however i would suggest that you don't rush through the pages and spend some time in understanding and processing what the author is trying to say so power of now is highly highly recommended for all those who are looking for personal growth and who want to become a better version of themselves in the long run so the second book on our list is the 4 hour work week by tim ferris So as we know majority of the people remain employed throughout their lives they work from 9 to 5 and they do it for almost 40 to 50 years before they retire at the age of 60 65 this book will tell you how to break out of this paradigm by significantly reducing your work time by freeing yourself of any sort of geographical constraint by working on remote and living anywhere in the world so you can also automate your revenues which will enable you to take mini breaks and mini retirements So I think this book is really ahead of its time because it was published somewhere in the year 2006 and 7 when the concept of remote working and working from home was relatively new to the world. I think this book was really relevant at that point of time and this is still relevant during the time of pandemic as you all know. So I genuinely feel that every professional must read this book at least once in their life. The third book on this list is a work of fiction. and as i've said it before i'll say it again this book is really really close to my heart the name of which is the five people that you meet in heaven by mitch elbaum so this book is about eddie who works in an amusement park uh, as a maintenance guy and one day when he dies he goes to heaven wherein he gets to meet five people and he understand his purpose of life so i will not talk much about this book here in this video because i have already made a detailed video on this book i will add the link of that video through the i card somewhere and you can check that out but let me tell you this book will entertain you it will make you laugh it will make you cry but eventually it will change your whole perspective of how you see the people around yourself so five people that you meet in heaven like all the other books of mitch album are a must must read recommendation from my side so as the saying goes don't judge a book by its cover but the next book on our list has one of the prettiest covers out there and is equally good from inside the name of which is good vibes good life by vex king so there are numerous books written on law of attraction and law of vibration but there are hardly any book which is easy to understand for the masses but i think good vibes good life is one of the best books written in that genre which talks about failure meditation self love law of vibration and achieving success through personal growth so i think this is must read recommendation for all the beginners who don't really like reading much and who want to read more about personal growth and law of vibration so the next book on our list is a really unique read and it is different from all the books that i have read till date the name of the book is why we sleep by matthew walker so matthew walker tries to touch upon different aspects of our life which are impacted by sleep his writing style is pretty nuanced and detailed and he tells you the merits of having a good 8 hours of sleep and he also tells you the demerit of lack of sleep So I've already made a detailed review about this book and you can check it out somewhere here but let me tell you if you are curious to know more about the concept of sleep this can be your go to book The next book on our list is again a work of fiction 
The name of the book is Wrath of Hellfire by Satrujit Nath. It's the last part of the four part Indian mythological fiction series named Vikramaditya Virgatha. Wrath of Hellfire is really engaging, engrossing, full of action and drama. And uh, I've already made a detailed review of this book. You can check out on my channel. And if you like reading Indian mythological fiction, then stop everything else and read this series because this is one of the best series that has been written in this genre. So the next book that I'm going to talk about is one of the best books that I read in the year 2021, which helped me change my approach towards my work. The name of the book is Lynchpin by Seth Gordon. There used to be two teams at the workplace. One was management and second one was labor. Those who are a small cog in a big machine. But now the world has changed and there is a third team called Lynchpins. People who are indispensable and they figure out the solution of a problem without waiting for a rule book. So these lynchpins, they delight and challenge their customers and peers. They love their work and they put themselves into their work and they treat their work as an art and themselves as an artist. So this book Lynchpin will help you change your approach towards your work and will help you create an impact on the lives of other people through your work and make this world a better place to live. So Lynchpin is highly highly recommended for all the professionals who want to become a better version of their professional self. The next book on our list is a work of fiction and is my personal favorite of 2021. The name of the book is Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. This book revolves around the events of World War II and Holocaust during Nazi Germany and the story is narrated by death. It is really beautifully written by Marcus Zuzak and if you like reading about Holocaust and World War II, this is the best book to invest your time in. The next book on our list is a mix of history and fiction, the name of which is The Legends of Suhail Dev by Amish Tripathi. Although this book is based on real life historical events, However, there are certain sections and there are certain characters in this book which are completely fictional in nature as mentioned by the author himself. So this book is about a historical event called Battle of Bahraj and is about the chronicles of King Suhildev who united Indians and saved our land from foreign invaders, mainly Turks. This book is really fast paced and every character comes to life because of the fine detailing of the book. So this book has been co-authored by Amish. There are a group of people who have written this book and the final draft of this book has been edited by Amish. So sometimes you will feel that whether Amish has really written this book or not. But despite that fact, this book is really engaging and you will definitely love the story of the book and how it has been written. So I thoroughly enjoyed the experience of reading The Legend of Suhail Dev. It was really fast paced and engaging and I recommend all of you to read this one if you like historical fiction. Now let's talk about the last book in our list. This book will make you rethink, restructure and rework on the vision, mission and the daily routine of your professional life. The name of the book is Rework by Jason Fried and David Hansen. This book will show you that you need less than what you think to start a business and to keep it running. This book explains why planning is actually harmful, why meetings are toxic and why productivity doesn't really mean working for longer hours. This is a really beautiful book which has simple and easy to implement tips and tricks which you can use in your work life. So make sure you take notes while reading this book because these notes will come in handy to improve the efficiency and productivity in your own work life. So guys, these were my top 10 reads of 2021 and I hope you guys liked the video and you guys have made notes of what all books you are planning to read in the year 2022 and uh, this is going to be my last video for this year 2021 and I'll see you guys in the next year with more videos, more content and more books. So till then you guys take care of yourself and keep smiling. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it already and I'll see you on the other side. Take care. Bye bye.